Video tonight that a lot of people have viewed over a decorated Air Force veteran suffering from post traumatic stress disorder, having a very public breakdown at Tampa International Airport and all new tonight. We are taking a deeper look at the challenges our military veterans face when they come back home. The images from the carnage of war are everywhere. We see the footage, but many times we don't see the soldier fighting for their life and country. We can't know what they are feeling. I was at the point of suicide. I put a gun in my mouth a couple times. This was prior to walking into help. First Sergeant Gerald Pickett served his country in the Army for more than two decades. Sometimes you can hold it together, you know. You can hold it together and you can walk with a smile on your face every day. But over time, he couldn't fake it. That's when you get down to that depression and you can't, it's, it's like a, an oily suit that just hangs on you, hangs on you every day, you know. Then you, you combine that with nightmares, no sleep, um, you know, then what, what, what are your options, you know? An estimated 20% of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans suffer from PTSD. 20 veterans a day commit suicide. That's according to a recent report by the VA. Because as I said before, stress is cumulative. Don't let it reach that point where you can't do anything about it. I have no Air Force veteran Ralph Rodriguez hit rock bottom at the airport on September 12th. His wife telling us he checked into the VA hospital and is getting help. It's either you bring it to light or it eats you to death in the dark. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.